Hello everybody, it's Benedetti of Simply Be Art Cape Town, South Africa. We're going to be using the reverse flower dip technique where I use a paper napkin to pull up a unique design of a flower on this 25 by 25 centimeter deep edge canvas. I'm going to be working on a white base today. And our colors are going to be in the orange palettes. So let me get started by flooding the canvas with a layer of white paint and we smooth it out with a spatula or you can also use a craft stick or a palette knife, whatever is comfortable and convenient for you. So we spread the paint evenly across the top of the canvas, my, my sides are already covered with paint. And so we'll just smooth whatever runs over the edges, we'll smooth as well. So I'm working on a lovely drip tray just to catch the runoff and it makes cleaning so much easier and effortless. So just trying to work a little bit more smarter and cleaner. All right, I think that layer is fine. Let me give this a torch and then I'm going to show you the colors. Just popping the air bubbles. that's done let me show you the colors I said I'm going to be working with an orange palette so I've got permanent orange by Dala I've also got coral by Dala I'm going to add burnt umber by Dala and I'm also going to be using the titanium white from Dala so let's start with the first finding our center and to do that I'm just going to mark off an X. I'm going to go corner to corner, mark off an X, just to find the center of the canvas. And the center point is round about there. Now I do use a bottle cap, just to guide me to work around that center in concentric circles. It does help with my final, keeping my design centered. So I'm going to go with the coral now. Oops. Okay. And then the white. The permanent orange is next. And then white again. Burnt Umber is next. And then white again. Then we go back to the Coral. And then white again. Permanent orange again. And then white again. And then the burnt umber. White again. I'm going to go with a another round of coral 
Oh, my circle is no longer a circle. I don't have a steady hand. And then we'll go with a permanent orange. And we'll end off with the last, last round of white. There we go. I'm just thinking maybe I should go with another round of burnt umber. Just to get it a little bit closer to the edge. I think it's all right. And a last row of white. I'm happy with it now. Just wanted to edge it closer to the end of the canvas. I'm happy with that. This is always the, the nerve-wracking part when you come <laughs> to the part where you need to you need to create your final design. So I'm going to just pull the so I need to pull the shape of the petals. I'm using a bamboo skewer to do that. Now we go from the outside in. Okay, that's done. I'm going to torch it now again. Okay, I have my paper napkin. I'm going to wet it with some tap water from a spray bottle. Just spray it da to dampen it. Not soak it, just dampen it with a spray of water. And the water just creates some weight on the paper napkin. So the next step is to lay it down. On the center or on the half or halfway part or halfway mark lift the open edge over and then tap into the the paint and then you tap lightly very very lightly and all you're doing is you're making sure that the paint is gripping into the napkin And that's it. Now we want to lift the napkin. Corner to corner first. Grip that nicely. And then the outer edges. Bring the outer edges to the inside. And we let that develop it takes a while to develop it will spread out because you've brought it in with your paper napkin you've pulled all the paint to the center and the minute the napkin releases from that flower it will begin to spread out again so you have to give it some time just to spread out that burnt umber has Oh, it's so beautiful against the oranges. So amazing. There's often a lot of paint that gathers right in the center here and you want to lift. 
some of that paint off and all you do is you dip your finger in it and it lifts the paint up almost as an eraser if you leave too much paint in the center of your canvas as the flower dries it will it will create cracks so you've got to lift some of it off i want to see if i can stretch it out just a wee bit There's so much paint on this canvas i don't want to spoil the composition I think that's all I'm going to do or I'm going to spoil it let me give this one a torch So let me bring you down for a closer look. So this is the flower about 15 minutes after I had finished the pour. So thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate your time. Please take care. Stay well. Until the next video. Bye for now.